Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee. In today's video, I would like to continue talking about NixOS, and today's topic is how to use Home Manager. Let's go start it. First of all, let me open my terminal. And then I will open my browser. Go to my blog. This page. Before we start, I wanted to talk about why we want to use Home Manager. In my previous video, when I was trying to install micro editor to my system, I need to put micro under environment.system package in this configuration.nix files, and then I will rebuild the system. Then I will have access to micro editor, right? But that is only about installing the software. So if I need to change my um, application settings, I still need to configure that myself. By using Home Manager, I can use Nix to manage all the application configurations for me. So after a rebuild, I'm not only getting a micro editor, but also all the configurations I need, like the cover theme, um, different um, tab size, that will all be configured by Nix for me. So it's very convenient. I will show you in the example later. Um, on Nix OS, you have two methods for installing Home Manager. The first one is called um, install as Nix modular. Uh, which means you will just put the home manager inside your configuration and you will manage all the uh, installation by only one command, which is NixOS uh, review switch. And the other way of using a uh, home manager is by um, installing it as a standalone mode. So essentially after installation, home manager will be a, a separate package and then you will have access to home manager CRI to manage all the configurations for that. So you will use NixOS uh, review for um, building the configuration of your system and then use home manager switch to build the um, home manager configurations. I would like to show you how to install home manager as the Nix module first. So let's go back to my terminal. I will copy this command first. So all the command or configurations I put on this blog post are uh, um, very um, similar to official documentations uh, because I believe that will be easier for you to reference in the future. Uh, so the first step is to add the uh, home manager channels to the system. Okay, that's done. And then I will need to um, add the home manager to our configuration file. Uh, essentially, I need to do three things. First, I need to add this under imports. Then I need to set the user, user, username is normal user to true. This should be set as true by default. Then I will need to add a home manager sections. So let's go to micro EDC Nix OS configuration, right? So the first thing, copy here, put it down here, go to user user, which is here. As you can see, it's normal user as true by default. Then I need to have this home manager section. I'll put it here. So this is quite simple. And I need to change the name to my username. Now let's just do review. Before we start, I would like to talk a little bit about this file first. So um, what this means is Home Manager will be um, used for this user. And then uh, I'm going to install the package A2 and HTTPPy. Then the state version is 22.11, which is the same as my OS. So let's just do a rebuild. All right, so once that's done, we can have a look if HTTP Pi is installed. It is installed and we can see it is installed under the user .nix profile in the pin folder, right? So that means home manager is working. Um, but we probably want to separate our home um, manager configurations outside of our system configuration, right? So to do that is quite simple. So what we need is to um, create a new file called home.nix inside the same folder. So let me just copy that. Okay, so I need an X. And also I need to change the username to my username. That's it. And then I, let's go back to, let me remove the incorrect file first. 
and then let's edit the um, configuration file so what we need here is to um, remove the whole manager section uh, from the previous state into this one so let me just copy this and paste it here and all right so let's compare it let's see what we what we are doing here basically i'm adding two um configs here one is to use global packages and the other one is to use the user packages and also if you see here home manager user my username so basically i'm adding this part on the dot home dot next file right so that we can delete this one now so if you see that i previously have these two um, packages installed so if i remove that these two ones will not be available later on so if we do a rebuild we can see http is not available right http is not available to add it back it's quite simple uh, we can copy this one go to our home.nix file put it here of course i don't want a2 and then do the review again let's try again we can see we've got it again you can see this is in a different folder so that is the um, uh, use uh, user packages true uh, settings to do that okay okay so this is how you can install home manager as the next module and then to use that right so next i'm going to show you how to install home manager as the uh, um, standalone application so um, we are going to remove the home dot uh, next file first right and then we are going to remove whatever we have on the configuration file So this one first, and then this section. Right, so home manager is gone. Let's review. All right, so we can see HTTP is gone again. Let's follow our blog post to install it. So the first step is also um, to add the channel, which we already did. So we just need one simple um, command. All right, that's done. So let's have a look. So now we've got this um, home manager CRI. That means we are good to go. Home manager is installed as the application, standalone application on the system. Okay. So the next part, I would like to show you how you can use home manager. If you use Home Manager as the modular, we already know that um, the configuration will be under etc slash next OS folder, right? When you install it as the standalone mode, the configurations will be under your home folder dot config and then next packages. So the home dot next will be inside this uh, folder. And if you need to um, make the changes previously, uh, we just do next OS rebuild because it's part of next OS, right? Um, and if it's in the standalone mode, you use home manager switch to um, install or make a changes of your configuration. Let's use this one as an example to show you how you can install the next packages. So now I can go to config nix packages home.nix. You can see it's got a lot of stuff already for us. So we just put this here for installing htop, right? And then we can do home manager switch. Ah, I want to show you a HTOP is not available right now. So we just do home manager switch. So, and then we have HTOP, right? Very simple. And if we want to install ZSH, we can also do that by putting this on our home.nix. Let's try that right so put here delete let's have a look what it does for us so this will install 
uh, ZSH and enable um, you know, auto completion, auto suggestion, syntax highlighting, installing all my ZSH for me, and then enabling Docker Compose and Docker Plugin, use the DST theme, and then um, bind Control F as the um, auto suggest accept. And I'm also installing FZF and integrate that with um, the SH, right? It's quite straightforward. And you can see this is part of the uh, configurations of the SH. Let's do the rebuild. Sorry, let's do a home manager switch. All right, it's done. So if we do the SH, we can see we've got um, the SH and this is apparently um, doing what we want, the DST theme. Uh, so we can have a look the um, this file and we can see the theme is DST, right? And we can we also has uh, FZF integration with the SH. But um, if we log out and log in back, as you can see here, the SH is not the default shell when we log into this server. How do we make that SH as the default shell? Um, we can find the answer on the OS wiki page here. Um, I'm just copying here. So basically we need to add these two lines to our configuration, system configuration. Okay, so let's just do that. All right, so one part is to add user, user, username, shell. So I just need this part. And the next is the environment shell with pkg.sh. So that's once that's done, let's review Nick OS. Because this is our system configurations, we will need to use this one for the review. Okay, once that's done, we connect again. Now we are using ZSH, our default shell. So the next thing I want to show you is how you can break the home manager configurations to different files. Uh, as you can imagine, right, as your application goes up, you probably need to manage a lot of lines of code if you only use the home.next file to have everything on there. Um, so in this particular example, I would like to break the uh, ZSH related configurations to one single file called zsh.nix and then import it back to our home.nix. So the first thing I would, I would do is to make a folder under the uh, nix packages called apps. Then I will create a file called zsh.nix and put this back. Once that's done, we can um, delete this part of the configuration from the home.nix, right? Let's delete that. And we need to import this um, zshnix file back to the home folder. So let's just copy, paste. So this means the folder will be in the same folder as our home.nix and then the, the file we want to import is called zshnix. Save it. Do a home manager switch and nothing should happen, right? Because I'm literally just moving the configuration out from the home.nix to a different location. So I will also um, change the micro editor, as I said, from the system configuration. And I want to manage that uh, with um, home manager. So let's just copy the configurations. I will create another file, yeah, which is called micro.nix so we can see this one means i'm enabling the micro editor i put some settings different color themes i want to have a tab size as two and center etc center. let's save this uh, the next i will we'll just put this back to this line and call it home sorry micro.nix right and the last thing we need to do is to remove micro editor from the system packages right so let's just do that Right, so um, it's here. Comment it out, save, do a NixOS, review. Okay, so it doesn't have memory for that, that's okay. 
This will make sure the micro editor is removed from the system. Right, now we can do home manager switch. Oh, okay, we are going getting the warnings. That means um, because I previously installed the micro editor already, uh, you know, home manager want to make sure I don't need the settings there, so which I don't. Uh, let me just remove that. Micro, so. All right, so now we view again. Very cool. So you can see micro is available now and also the color theme, you know, the tab size is two now, which is exactly what the settings I gave it. Uh, if we take a look at the um, config file, this is exactly what I set on the Nix, uh, sorry, micro.nix file, right? Okay, so that's all I want to show you today. Uh, I will plan to do another video for using Flakes. So if you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below and I will try my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.